All right, hello everybody. What I'm going to show you guys today is how to do the rods for our shipping container doors, as you can see right here. They are six inches off from the center of our door, and then at the midpoint between that spot and that spot right there. So I'll come over here to this example. And delete these rods as I've already done them. And we're going to start over again. As you can see, the rods tend to vary. This one right here looks like it has three. But we're going to use more or less this as our example. <clears throat> so like I said, the first rod is going to be six inches off to the left, second one six inches to the right, and then at the midpoint between that first rod and the end of the door right here. So <clears throat> as we can see looking at the rods right here, we've got a thicker section at the bottom and at the top. And we'll go over the radius and diameter of that in a minute. And then a thinner rod that connects both of them together. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go over here to our shapes command, select our circle, and we'll give our first diameter or our first radius, excuse me, a half an inch. I'm just going to double check that that's the right measurement. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to move that over and compare it to this right here. And indeed, that is half an inch. I'm going to raise that circle shape up into a cylinder, and I'm going to raise it up six inches to start. So I'll go over here to my push-pull command. Select the surface, and then I'm going to type in six parentheses for inches. And as you can see, that now matches that right there. And we need a rod that goes from the bottom of our door to the top of our door. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to measure out exactly how tall that door is. So starting at the bottom, going up to the top. You can see down in the bottom right hand corner of the screen that, that is 8 foot 10 inches tall. So next I'm going to do a smaller cylinder that's going to go in the middle of that. We made our first radius a half of an inch, so I'm going to make this one a quarter of an inch. So 1 backslash 4 parentheses to tell it inches. You could also do 0.25, another way of writing a quarter. Then I'm going to take that surface. And I'm going to raise it up 8 foot 10 inches. And there's no space in between 8 foot and 10 inches. It's written as one solid piece. So then I'm going to hit enter. And now we can see that our rod <clears throat> is as tall as the door. Okay. So then I'm going to take my thicker portion, control C, control V to copy and paste it. And then I want to move it from the center right there to the top, from the center at the bottom to the center of our tall rug. Okay, so a trick here to finding the center point, sometimes it doesn't want to snap to the center point. Uh, what I found is if you go around the bottom circle, which is easy to snap to, then SketchUp more or less gets a hint as to what it is you're going for. So as you can see right there, my center showed up just perfectly. So then I'm going to come over here, and I'm going to do the same thing to the bottom of this cylinder. I'm going to tell it, okay, this is the section that I'm trying to find, and there it allows me to snap. Perfect. So I'm adjusting my view, and I'm going to take the other section right here, I'm going to move that 
once again from the center point. See right here, it's not wanting to find the center point. So I'm just going to go around, let it know what it is I'm trying to find, and there suddenly the center is snapped too. So same thing here at the top that we did at the bottom, just on the other side. Find the center point. Great. Okay, so before I go any further, what I want to do is I want to make this into a component. So I can move it all as one piece. So I select the component that I want to basically stick together. I'm going to right click, make component, and I'll call this rod, uh, who knows how many rods I've made, rod 10. That'll work. Okay. So I've got my first rod. Next what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a reference line six inches over. So I'm going to tell it six, enter. Then I've got an endpoint right there that you can see. I have my rod selected, so I'm going to control V to paste it. Oh, no, I don't. I have to control C first, copy, and then paste. Okay. So then I'm going to move it from that endpoint right there. It's going to coincide with that six inch line. So now I've got to find where that six inch line ended. And there it is. Okay, then I'm going to do the same thing over here. Make another reference line, six inches. And that line ends right there. So I'm going to take my object, paste it again. And then I'm going to move it from that spot to my six inch reference line. There it is. Sketch is being difficult with my snaps. There we go. Okay. So then I'm going to paste one more time. <clears throat> Same thing. Move it from that point right there. And then I want to find the midpoint, which is going to show up as blue or teal. Sometimes finding your snap point is a lot easier if you just change your perspective a little bit. So I'm trying to find where I think that midpoint is going to be. But it's being difficult. I guess it's an endpoint here. I might have drawn that line before and just forgotten about it. But we can tell that that is where I want it because it's the midpoint between that spot and that spot right there. So I'm going to confirm. Okay, so that's the midpoint, as you can tell. I'm not sure why I drew a line right here. Let's go ahead and delete this so I can show you how it's supposed to be. So as you can see, I deleted my surface right here, but that's okay. When I connect this line to this line, it should recreate that surface for us. Perfect. So now this will show up as the midpoint. You can see right there, the midpoint is in teal that teal circle. That's what I was referring to earlier. This should make our life a little bit easier. Okay, so then I'm going to move from that spot to my teal circle. Come on, sketch up. There we go. Oh, almost. Okay, a little bit easier. All right. <clears throat> So there we have it. We have our rods for our shipping container doors.